your aesthetic. I'm looking at you and your background and your bet your the pink <laughs> bed sheets, everything. It's all like you've become this this branded image that is Belle Delphine. You got octopus in the background. You, you, you got your headphones has ears on it. You're you're like kind of a cat human. You do that little thing with the tongue sometime. You put your tongue <laughs> yeah. out and then and then I'm just curious how this cosplay role started to morph and you became um, this social media icon for lack of better verbiage. Yeah, well, I've always been interested in cosplay. I've like been really into nerd culture. Like all of the, like my ex-boyfriends that I date were all like massive nerds. And obviously I was like inspired by like them hugely. And I always th thought cosplay was fun. I, I like anime loads and hentai is really hot. And I wanted to be that. I wanted to be the real life anime girl. So I just like started cosplaying. And then I suppose it gained a little bit of attraction. And then when I went sexual with my cosplay, it just went pretty well. So interesting. Mike watches hentai. Hentai, yeah. It's actually one of my favorite uh, subsectors of, of uh, pornography, believe it or not. What kind There's, of anime is it porn? Actually? Wow. It, it is. There's just something about watching a, a, a tentacled beast with a 14-foot penis uh, have intercourse with a, a normal woman. <laughs> It's, I, I think, I think, I, Pam, I'm so, can we pan, pan to Pam really quick? Pam, I'm, I'm so sorry. My mom's here, Belle. Is that strange, yeah? But, 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 uh, I, Belle, <laughs> Belle, do you think that, now, now hear me out on the hentai and the tentacled beasts. Do you think after you, do you think after you do the same shit for years and years, you go to swinger parties, you have sex on camera, you know, you've tried every threesome, foursome, sixsome, under the sun, whatever it is. Do you think that all you have left is the hope that you can get penetrated by an octopus one day or some sort of <laughs> demon, you know, some sort of demonic, you know, like helium balloon-esque iconic, you know, person. In a yeah. <laughs> like a cyclops. Yeah. Gargantuan. I mean... Completely. I feel like I'm already kind of at that point. Like I've got, I, I always get like mini fetishes that kind of come and go. <laughs> and at the moment, it's something really embarrassing. I, for some reason, I really like ogres at the moment. Yes. Sh is it Sh Shrek? Not necessarily Shrek, but just like imagining what, some what subset huge of grotesque, ogre? like... It's just, I think what I like about it is I like something so big and so gross, kind of like overpowering something small. I feel like that's the same, I feel like that's the same way I describe it. It's a very, it's a very um, uh, uber dominant situation. Oh. Like beyond a six yeah. foot four man and a, and a, you know, Belle Delphine girl, it's yeah. this 64 foot man. Yeah. Well, how tall are you? How yeah. tall are you? I'm 5'6". Okay. That's pretty uh, average. Average. I'm quite yeah. tall. Yeah, yeah. average. Okay.